Hey guys, History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about Jax, pre-Mortal Kombat. Jax first chronologically appears in Mortal Kombat Special Forces. During the events of Mortal Kombat Special Forces, a prison break occurs at a Special Forces detention facility, which releases four captives, No Face, Tarsia, Tremor, and Jarek. Jax himself was driving down a highway and received a transmission from the Special Forces operative Gemini, detailing him of the escape. Jax had managed to summarise that Kano was behind all of this and went to rendezvous with Lieutenant Sanchez in a warehouse. When Jax arrived at the scene, he would realise that the entire squad was killed. For this, he swore vengeance against Kano. Around this time as well, he acquired prototype bionic implants on his arms to enhance his strength. On his path for vengeance, Jax was able to confront and defeat all of Kano's operatives. After Jax had defeated Tremor, he would travel through a portal to Outworld and find Kano. When Jax caught up to Kano, he realised that the mercenary had acquired an artefact called the Eye of Genesian, which would give him great power. After a few exchange of words, the two fought with Jax emerging victorious. Jax then used the Eye's power to get back to Earthrealm and brought Kano into custody, only to have the criminal escape at a later date. After this game, Jax would not use his bionic implants. Mortal Kombat 2 Following the events of the first Mortal Kombat tournament, Jax's friend, Lieutenant Sonya Blade, had disappeared. Jax began searching for Lieutenant Blade and even interrogated Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage explained the events that happened on the island, however, Jax did not believe him until he received a video signal from Sonya. As an apology to the actor for not believing his story, he visited him at a commercial shoot where Johnny Cage was attacked by Outworld forces. Jax would fight against the Shokan and Kentaro, but their fight would be interrupted when the Earthrealmers assisted them. After seeing this all happen before his eyes, Jax had decided that he wanted to participate in the second Mortal Kombat tournament in hopes of finding Sonya. During the events of the second tournament, he was able to free Sonya and arrest Kano. However, the mercenary was able to escape to Outworld when they tried to travel back to Earth. Jax attempted to warn the government of the invasion, however they dismissed him. Mortal Kombat Trilogy With the war approaching, Jax was outfitted with his bionic arms once more. After Shao Kahn was defeated, Jax became the commanding officer of the Outer World Investigation Agency. The OIA had scouts that they would send to various realms to explore them and find any portals that led to Earthrealm that could be destroyed, thus stopping any future invasions. Mortal Kombat 4 Sonya Blade disappeared when she was sent on a mission to exterminate a Black Dragon member called Jarek. Jax would later find out that Sonya was led into battle against Shinnok, a fallen Elder God. After Shinnok is defeated in Mortal Kombat 4, Jax and Sonya find the Lin Kuei robot Cyrax malfunctioned and trapped in a desert. They take the cyborg back to the OIA home base and reprogram him. By doing this, they are able to restore his humanity and gain a new ally. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance Years later, troubles began to occur, with two OIA agents disappearing that being Kenshi and Cyrax. The OIA underground facility was also nuked by Su Hao. After these events, Raiden would summon many of the Earthrealm warriors, including Jax and Sonya, to confront the Deadly Alliance on Shang Tsung's island. Whilst on their journey, Jax was able to find Su Hao and rip out his artificial heart, killing him. Jax was killed alongside all of the Earthrealm warriors when they confronted the Deadly Alliance. Mortal Kombat Deception During the events of Mortal Kombat Deception, the Dragon King Onaga returns and revives all of the Earthrealm warriors that were killed by the Deadly Alliance, including Jax. Jax was forced to serve Onaga against his own free will, but was eventually freed from Onaga's influence with help from Liu Kang and Ermac. Mortal Kombat Armageddon Jax is seen during the Battle of Armageddon where he is fighting on the forces of light. During the Battle of Armageddon, he is seen breaking Quan Chi's leg and is then attacked by Shao Kahn. Along with many of the other combatants during the fight of Armageddon, he is killed. Now we can get to the reboot of Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 9 Sometime before the first Mortal Kombat tournament, Jax is captured by Shang Tsung. This would lead to Sonya Blade entering the Mortal Kombat tournament in order to save him. Sonya is finally able to find him in Goro's lair, but he is badly injured. Sonya defeats Sub-Zero and fights Raiden, who uses the flash of light to blind Shang Tsung and his guards. Sonya is able to free Jax. Jax is taken to the courtyard while Sonya fights Kitana and Jade. A rescue chopper arrives, only to be shot down by Shang Tsung, who remarks that Sonya has been challenged by Kano. 
After Kano is defeated, Shang Tsung, Kano, Jade, and Katana then leave. Roden, Johnny Cage, and Liu Kang then appear. Whilst Johnny Cage explains the situation to Sonya, Roden begins healing Jax's wounds. The two of them then both agree to participate in the Mortal Kombat tournament officially. Jax is later seen after Shang Tsung has been defeated by Liu Kang, and is seen attending the ceremony in honour of Liu Kang at the Wushu Academy. After the ceremony, he is seen talking to Raiden when a rejuvenated Shang Tsung appears and offers them a new tournament. When they decline the tournament, Shang Tsung opens a portal from Outworld to Earthrealm to unleash a Tarkatan horde in the Wushu Academy. Jax attempts to stop as many of the Tarkatan warriors as he can, but he is eventually overwhelmed and knocked out. When Jax wakes up, he learns that Sonya Blade has gone missing. He is then informed that she has been captured by Shang Tsung. Jax is then partnered with Raiden and Johnny Cage as they pursue a rescue mission for Sonya Blade. Whilst trying to find out where she is, he participates in the first fight of the second Mortal Kombat tournament against Baraka, who he defeats. The three of them then teleport to the armory after Raiden has a vision showing him of Sonya's sentence to be executed. During this time, Johnny Cage begins pestering Jax about his relationship with Sonya Blade, to which Jax states that he is her commanding officer, nothing else. This however does not stop Johnny Cage, who continues to pester him, and eventually a fight breaks out between the two. After the fight is put to an end by Raiden, Jade appears and tells them that they should not be here. Jax then confronts her and defeats her. After Jade is unconscious, Johnny and Jax then patch things up, with the three of them continuing their quest to find Sonya. They finally locate Sonya by the Deadpool, which is being guarded by Shiva and her guards. After killing one of Shiva's guards and defeating Shiva herself, they are able to save Sonya. At some point during the Outworld tournament, Jax and Sonya find the second Sub-Zero, and are surprised to see him as they saw him die in the first tournament. This Sub-Zero then reveals that he is actually the younger brother of the Sub-Zero they saw die, when suddenly Ermac appears. Jax attempts to beat down Ermac, but gets both of his arms torn off. This leaves Sonya to cauterize Jax's wounds while Sub-Zero defeats Ermac. Jax appears later on during the Mortal Kombat 3 section of the game, where he has mechanical arms. Jax is one of the people to have reprogrammed the newly automated Cyber Sub-Zero, who regains his humanity. Jax is seen when the Earthrealm warriors are having a meeting, until they are ambushed by the Lin Kuei cyborgs and Sindel. Jax however is one of the many Earthrealm warriors to be killed by Sindel and later resurrected as a revenant of Quan Chi. He is also one of the revenants sent to fight Raiden, but is defeated. Mortal Kombat X In Mortal Kombat X, Jax is still a revenant of Quan Chi. He alongside Smoke and Nightwolf are given the task of protecting the portal to the Jinsei chamber. They are however defeated by Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, Ken Shi and some of the Special Forces soldiers. Years after Shinnok's defeat, Jax is one of the many revenants that are guarding Quan Chi's fortress. Special Forces then proceed to invade Quan Chi's fortress. This leads to a massive fight breaking out, with Jax actually stabbing Johnny from behind and nearly killing him. After Sonya defeats Jax and Quan Chi, Raiden is able to restore Jax, Scorpion and Kuai Liang to their human form, ending the Neverrealm War. Jax is guilt ridden by his deeds as Quan Chi's revenant, and retires from the military. During his retirement, he meets a woman named Vera, marries her and has Jackie Briggs. 25 years later, Jax is approached by Sonya, who asks for his assistance against Quan Chi. Although he is not initially happy with Sonya due to the fact that Jackie became a part of the Special Forces, he complies. Jax is seen alongside Serena and Ken Shi as they ambush Quan Chi and his revenants. The ambush is successful, and Quan Chi is injured and being taken to his old fortress on foot by Liu Kang. Whilst in hot pursuit of the sorcerer, he has to fight Kung Lao, Sindel, and Katana and even feels some remorse for Katana despite being quite shocked that she seems to be enjoying being a revenant. Jax finally arrives at the fortress to find that Liu Kang and Quan Chi are there. Liu Kang and Jax then fight each other, with Liu Kang talking about how Raiden is a plague and is responsible for killing him. Jax retorts by saying Raiden did the best he could before defeating the Shaolin monk. Jax then approaches the sorcerer and knocks him clean out. And this is actually the last we see of Jax. There's a comic book section to Mortal Kombat X, but I'm actually going to bring up that section next year when I start up the new series that's going to cover the comic book series. Now as always, here's a preview for next week's episode.
So next week, we're going to cover one of the two cyborgs. I'm actually going to leave it to you guys in the comments to decide which one I do next because you guys have a say on this channel and I like when you guys talk to me. So I'll put in the comments, Cyrax or Sector or someone else can and we'll see how many likes and thumbs up they can get by probably around next week Friday and whoever gets the most is the one I'm going to cover next week. I also want to say I've taken a notice to a lot of the comments and a lot of people asking for Cabal, Baraka and Goro and I'm definitely going to cover them soon. I've definitely acknowledged most of the comments here so you'll definitely expect to see them maybe in a month or so considering that there aren't that many characters left for me to cover so I'm definitely going to do those ones. Anyway guys as always please comment, like, subscribe and share this video with people you know and I'll see you guys next time.